Hello guys, uh, welcome to Porter's Arcade channel. This is Nirmal Sekhar and today we are going to discuss on a very uh, good topic that is known as recursion. Usually what happens in our colleges or wherever we have studied about this recursion, our teachers had not uh, mainly focused on this topic that is known as recursion. But usually in interviews they will ask you about this recursion topic, they will deliberately ask you about this recursion, types of recursion, questions based on that. So it's a very interesting topic and now let's dive deep into this recursion topic. There are six types of recursion. First one is direct recursion. Second one is indirect recursion. Third one is tail recursion. Fourth one is non-tail recursion. Fifth one is linear recursion. And sixth one, somehow we can say that it is also known as tree recursion or binary recursion. So I'll explain one by one what is direct, what is indirect, what is tail, what is non-tail, what is linear, what is tree. And usually in interviews when you will face after uh, like breaking the coding round when you will sit for the interviews they will usually ask you about this what is what are the types of recursion first question is what is recursion after that they will ask you what what are the types of recursion so at that place you have to explain about this and i'm not telling you to explain in brief but you can say few examples on this so we'll start one by one what is direct recursion what is indirect recursion what is tail what is non-tail and so on so the very first type is direct recursion or you can say direct recursion it's up to you now direct recursion what is direct recursion usually direct recursion means what what is a recursion first recursion means a function which call itself means recursion means breaking down of a code into simpler parts into chunks so it will make our code simpler so similarly we have a direct recursion so if i'll take an example of this direct recursion means if i am making a function okay Void, or you can say type like int I have taken here or fun fun I have taken some values I have taken here like int n. and meanwhile here I have a return type here you have some statements and in this I am just returning this function so direct recursion means what if you are directly returning that function itself, that particular thing is known as direct recursion. So direct recursion is clear. Likewise, we have a function or in Java, if you are saying specifically in Java. So we have a name of a function that is known as methods. So always remember. So always remember, if you are saying functions in Java, it's a sin. So if you are doing things in java so always say methods so instead of functions we are going to say methods in every part likewise the very first thing is what direct recursion and in that that is type like the return type of that function function name we have a like variable here and the return type of that one is what that function itself so that is known as directly means the return type it is returning that function itself that is known as direct recursion. Now let's come to indirect recursion. Indirect recursion. What is indirect recursion? So indirect means we are calling something indirectly. Means suppose I have one function that is fun1. And similarly in that same code I have a function 2. Okay. Now. Indirectly means what? We are indirectly calling a function. Means, suppose this is my function 1 or you can say method 1. Now, this is my method 1 and this is my method 2. Now, what I am doing? I am calling this function inside this function. And similarly, in function 2, when you will reach here, you, you are calling fun 1. Means what? I will call this method in main method public static void main string of args. There I will pass some parameter. And now that parameter it will call here. Now I will go to the function body. And now when I will enter to the function body it will call this function 2. Means what? Inside this function I am calling this function 2 indirectly. Means what? Once you will enter to this function body this is calling function 2 and your iteration will reach to this part. Now I will enter, enter to this part and now I will come to this body, function 2 body. Now function 1 
is there already inside this function two. Now what it will do? It will again call function one and it will reach at this particular place. So sometimes when you have to overload functions or you can say uh, if you are using some uh, questions on stacks, likewise we have a valid parenthesis problem. So there you can use this method. The third one is tail recursion. Tail recursion. What is tail recursion? As I have told you, what is direct recursion? Direct recursion means what? We have a function. We have a function. And I am calling that function in my return time. Means what? I am returning that same function in my return. Means what? I am directly calling that function and I will reach at this place again. Means what? Tail recursion means what? The return type, you have to focus on this return. Means if I am only returning that function, means what? It's a tail recursion. And let's come into the non-tail recursion. If I will add something here like 1 plus fun 1, means tail recursion means what? What is the definition of tail recursion? Means you have to return that function only. But if you are adding something, if you are subtracting, if you are multiplying something, then that will become a non-tail non recursion. Means what? I am adding something in this function. Tail recursion is what? The last thing what you are returning is the function itself. But non-tail recursion means what? If you are returning that function, but the last thing is what you are adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying that function with something. Means what the last thing what we are doing is what? We are calculating something that is known as non-tail recursion. Now let's come to this last part that is linear and tree. Linear recursion means what? If you are calling that function once, likewise uh, you could have seen a code Fibonacci series. Likewise, I have a Fibonacci series and here what you return okay. and similarly if you have gone through the factorial there also will return something and into fact of n minus 1. So, you have to understand the difference between linear recursion and this tree recursion. Tree recursion means what? If inside the same function, I am returning that function twice or thrice or four times, that is known as tree or you can say binary recursion. Binary means two. And here, Linear recursion means what? If inside that function, if I am calling that function once, that is known as linear recursion. So, is it clear? Types of recursion. We have six types of recursion. Direct, indirect, tail, non-tail, linear and tree recursion. Tree recursion is also known as binary recursion.